Yo, what's going on everybody? Today I'm showing you the new crypto buffs. Uh, this is not a full guide, I'm just showing you the new changes. So if you looked at the patch notes and you didn't quite understand them, or even if you did but you still don't understand them, then hopefully this makes them uh, a bit easier to get. Uh, but before we get into the changes, I just want to say if you did not like playing crypto before, these changes will not make a difference. Uh, you still won't like playing him now. Uh, and if you are a crypto main, those uh, two of you out there, uh, <laughs> uh, but if you are a crypto main, then I do think uh, you will like some of these changes. Uh, so let's start with the first one, and this is going to be the quick throw. So now you press your tactical once, and he will throw the drone out in the air. You press it once and it's going to go out in a straight line for a few seconds before it stops and then if you press your tactical a second time that's when you go into the drone uh, and if you just want to throw it out and go into the drone one time then you're just going to have to hold down the tactical button with uh with crypto's emp now so you can't combine that with the quick throw but i wouldn't suggest it because your drone is kind of stationary and it makes for pretty easy target um you know, I, I kind of expected this, but I still tried it a couple times nonetheless, and yeah, everybody just shot my drone out of the sky when it was uh, mid-EMP. They press it once to throw it out, and then you have to hold it down to go on it. I don't like that. Um, I'm hoping that in the future they can do something in the settings, like what they did with Valkyrie's jetpack, where they add a toggle or hold. Add some options like that, because um, from using him for, well, pretty much since he released, it's been muscle memory to press Q once to go on my drone, so I'm hoping they can add an option to, to flip it to how they have now. So I press it once, uh, and I go on my drone like before, and then if I want to do the um, the quick throw, then I can just hold it down. Uh, I think that'd be much better. Uh, they also changed, uh, you can see the icon for the drone now, before it was just, uh, you could see the drone itself and the green shield, but now the, they made it a pretty thick icon, you can't not notice where your drone is, you will see your drone through the map anywhere, also it's the same thing with crypto, if you're in your drone and you look for crypto, again it's a pretty, uh, pretty big icon there, you can't not notice it, they've also changed the HUD, Pretty much the HUD looks close to how it looks when you're off the drone, um, so you get a lot more info now than before. You can see your kill feed, um, your health and shields, also your teammates, and you can also see the drone's health, which got a nerf. It was 60 before, but now it's down to 50 health. Um, you can also see the minimap, and you can now also see the icons for the survey beacons uh, in your heads up display. So yeah, the HUD has a lot more info on it now, so you know, when your teammates get not hopefully those random cryptos hopefully they aren't as clueless as before because yeah you can see everything that's going on now um so yeah that, that's another change that i like from this buff they've also increased the drones uh fov so you can scan and highlight people a lot better than before uh and even if you are not on the drone you just leave it there hovering again it's better at detecting people uh, because they can see a lot more. Uh, the next change is, I think, the, my favorite change from uh, from this buff so far, and it's the uh, the wall attachment buff. Uh, so you're gonna see this little cross here in the middle. This is pretty much the same one that Pathfinder has. Once you get within range of a wall, uh, best way I can describe it, it just kind of locks on and starts uh, moving along the wall. Uh, this means you're in range, so you can just throw your drone at it and it will automatically flip the drone and kind of stick it to that surface. Um, if you're wondering why that's useful, if, for those of you out there, main crypto, pretty much this is good for, I guess, watching your back. Uh, so before, what you'd have to do is deploy your drone and just kind of hide it. Um, above a doorway looking down so that anybody else that passes through that doorway to get to you uh you'll get that intel from your drone and it, it'll take a couple seconds but now this saves time because you can just press a button and the drone will automatically flip itself which is great uh so my thoughts for this buff overall um kind of 50 50 on it uh i still think that his passive um you shouldn't need the drone for that. I should be able to just look at the banners and see how many squads are left. It's not like these banners display anything useful anyway. Um, but no, you still need your drone to uh, see how many squads are in the area, unfortunately. So yeah, that's kind of the one thing I was looking forward to for this change, but they didn't. Um, again, like I said, if you didn't like Crypto before, this ch this buff is not going to change that, you probably still won't like him, but for the crypto mains, I think they'll be happy that they got some 
uh, much needed quality of life changes. And yeah, I, I think that's about it for uh, for Crypto's buffs. There is going to be a control LTM guide and a new caustic guide coming out pretty soon. So make sure you subscribe and stick around for those. So if you found this video helpful, uh, leave a like, comment down below. What do you think of these new crypto changes if you do main him? Uh, and subscribe for more Apex. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.